Hi guys, so today I'll be showing you how we can deploy Node.js application. So for deploying a Node.js application, we need to have a GitHub repository. If you want to learn how to create repository, I already have a video in the description which will guide you. As you can see in my screen, I already have a GitHub repository named with Node.chat application. In this repository, I already have a link which is pointing to Heroku. Unfortunately, Heroku stopped their free services, so I need to find an alternative which can deploy my app. And as a matter of fact, we actually have an alternative and that alternative name is render yes render is a cloud platform which can deploy our app once you visit render you need to click on get started here it will take you to the sign up page in the sign up page you need to create your account you can also create your account using github once you're done with account creation process, it will show you all the services which it offers. And trust me, most of these services, you can use it for free. I'll be using web services since I need to deploy a node application. Once you click on web services, it will ask you to connect your repository. Since mine is linked with GitHub, I'll click connect account here. After clicking on install button, I should be able to see all the repositories. Since my repository name was node chat application, I'll search with my repository name here. Once you find repository, you click on connect and then you have to fill in some details here. Firstly, you have to name your app. I'll be naming my app as chat here. Then I'll select the region. Since Singapore is the closest region to my area, I'll select Singapore. Then you have to select the branch. I'll be using the master branch by default. Then you have to select the root directory. It should be the location of package.json. In runtime, I'll keep it as node because our application is on node.js. I'll also keep the build command as yarn. It will install the package.json. And for the start command, you know, you can find the start command in the package.json under the scripts. In my case, it's node server slash server.js if you don't find the scripts and start command in your package.json you can also put down the value through which you start your application then we'll select the instance type i'll select it as free since i want to use uh, the deployment service for free i'll create the web service and here we go it will start deploying our application once the build is successful you know it will show the status as live and we can access our application using the url and here we go our application is live you can play around the application it should work fine so if you like the video guys please press on the like button and if you have any doubts you can comment on the comment section thank you for watching the video guys